Every second matters in an emergency. Tonight, Auburn PD is working to get cops on scene faster and better prepared. CBS 13's Shante Passmore is getting answers on how this up and coming technology works. Number nine, one. Not a moment to spare. The black Toyota pickup, no place. The clock always ticks as dispatchers and officers race to help someone in distress. But if Chief Ryan Canan is honest, he believed his department could do better. Kind of, we were just stuck. Whatever it took to get that dispatcher to get that information out is the length of time that it took us to get the information to actually respond. Lately, the response time for calls is around seven and a half minutes. But after hearing how other agencies reduced their times, Canan wanted in. With Live 911, my officers have the ability now to hear a live feed of the actual 911 call. No longer will officers wait for dispatchers to relay the caller's info. Not only is it immediate, but it gives context to say someone hiding from a threat. Now we'll be able to actually hear that, understand the whispering and someone's hiding in the closet, just the need of getting there faster. How does it work? A geofence, think of a virtual perimeter, is set. It can be a block or, in Auburn's case, the city. Officers will be able to hear calls through their laptops, and dispatchers will know when they're listening. So you became chief back in 2018. When did you know that you wanted to implement Live 911? So earlier this year, we had seen this program. The creator of Live 911 reached out to the department, and Canan said, Yes, Canan hopes it will reaffirm the department's commitment to protect and serve by improving its service. Well, it'll cost Auburn $6,000 a year. Ten other California cities are already using this technology.